Hi, I'm Bishara. I'm going to be cooking some Haitian food today. Hi, yeah. Fabiola. We are cousins, and today together we're going to make some good Haitian food. Today we're cooking Haitian rice, red bean, chicken sauce, and then uh, macaroni au gratin avec pickles, okay. which is pickle beets. We're going to start by prepping. I learned from my mom, you know, and then after that we moved to Port-au-Prince and then we learned from the maids, you know, stuff like that. She taught me everything because she was like the top chef in the town where we were from, so. Now she's the top chef. <laughs> top chef! <laughs> That's it. So now we're going to add two pounds of um, the pasta. Growing up, we culturally, we had maids that cooked for us. So I guess I could probably remember the first time I made rice and it was they probably, they taught me how to make it. But when we came to America, I pretty much learned how to cook from my sisters because they would just cook for us. So we're gonna move on with the chicken for now. Usually we boil like water, you know, to sanitize the chicken. So, I mean, it's not really necessary if you add like vinegar and the lemon to like sanitize it. Our meat, we cook our meat like three times. <laughs> the way we season, the way we wash our stuff, like people would just, go to the market, like I'm talking about people from here, and just put the meat under the, the, the water, just wash it like that. We don't do that. You should see us marinated fish. That's like a totally different type. <coughs> it's, that's what it is. It's the way we cook stuff. Say back in the days, like we, did, we didn't have like refrigeration. So once we get the chicken, we have to do all mm -hmm. that. So you know what I'm saying? To keep it like the way like fresh, you kill all the bacteria, you know? Not that, you know, we have refrigeration, we have all this. Like, in we still country, do it the same way, though. You know? okay. This is what we call the um, apis. That's the Haitian. We use it to marinate our meat, to cook our rice, mostly everything, you know, that needs that. It's, it's all vegetables. It's peppers, scallions, onions, celery, and garlic. Always have garlic. Garlic is like one of the best ingredients you can add in food. We add um, the, like the scrap that I had earlier, I add some of it into the chicken so it'll stew with the chicken together. And we're gonna add three cups of water simmered for like 30 to 45 minutes for the chicken to be done. I think in the Haitian culture, it's, it's a, a very domestic idea where females do a lot of the cooking, the domestic, domestic things, stuff. where mm -hmm. whether it's well specifically cooking or taking care of the house. So mm -hmm. we rarely <laughs> see a man in the house cooking. So it would either be the grandma or the aunt or the mom or right yeah. an oldest sister. Little sister yeah. So very gender specific, where yeah, predominantly mm -hmm. females that do the cooking. I think we should start right now on uh, pickles. So the process, how to show you guys how to make the pickles and stuff like that. Usually it's better when you uh, soak um, the, the coleslaw and the vinegar like overnight so it could be a little softer, but this should be fine. Mostly everything we, we do have like vegetables, peppers, onions, so stuff like that. So, you know, we, we came from the village and then we moved to like, you know, port au -Prince, So we used to have to go into the like, like, the ma they call it mache, like we'll go with the maids and like pick up all the like vegetables and stuff like that. I've always grew up with like peppers, onions, which is like, that's the best thing, you know, ingredient for you to use. Like to make pickles in Haiti, you just need the coleslaw, lemon, and salt. That's all they use. But here we just put more stuff because we can afford to buy it. Like if you don't add more things to it, you don't see the art in it, you know? So like most likely when I cook, I add a lot of colors to the food. So when you see it, you're like, oh wow. I can eat that. Everything that we, we would have to do back in the days, we didn't use a blender, we'd always use a mortier. I'm going to use this to, you know, crush these and add them into this. And if you're also trying to own in and hold on to prior tradition, you want to make sure you do it the same way. Yes. Like when you're in Haiti, you would use the pilon, which is right, right there. But when you're here, to make it easier, you'll use a blender and just blend everything together so that can probably make it taste a little bit different. But I think everything else, for, for well, for most of us, because we want to try to hold on to the taste, mm -hmm. right, or mm -hmm. the delicacies of whatever the meal is, we're going to try to do it the same way. Do that. Food is art, so the more you add, the more flavor, the more body you give to the food. Mike, everything we do consists a piece. You know, that's like a signature. Usually my aunt, she makes, she makes you sit on the floor and then she, you do it like <laughs> So she makes the kids do it. So this is how we used to do it in Haiti. We go on the floor, Nushita, 
I'm trying to do everything the way a Haitian person would do it here. I won't make rice if I don't have coconut. Yes. Because that just, I don't know, just how I am. But some people can make it without it. Some other water in here. We're going to let this simmer. Let it boil until the coconut is all melted. We're going to uh, wash the rice. Okay, we're going to add the rice. Usually we have a technique, if it stands up, you know, it's enough. <laughs> Growing up, I used to have, my, my grandparents had their own farm. We used to raise our own chickens and pigs, everything. So I didn't really have to go to a marché or market to get stuff. Because right in my backyard, I used to have all these things. So I was kind of blessed like that. For me, I don't have children yet, but I definitely want to pass those yeah. traditions on just because I want it. I want them to know their culture, their heritage and lineage, and I think cooking is a very, very important part of that. Mm -hmm. So when I do have my children, I definitely want that to be. And again, um, I keep, uh, yeah, which is good because like we were saying before, boys don't, men don't usually do the right. cooking and I have a boy, so I, I'm kind of raising him the same way, mm -hmm. which is a big mistake because we're in a different country. But um, yeah, that's what it is. All right, so I over. So it could cook faster. Usually use this to cover the rice. The good thing is they like some kids don't like their kind of their food, you know, their nature's food. The good thing is they like it. She feels good. <laughs> Eat almost every day. Oh like my friends that aren't Haitian, yeah, they like it a lot. Yeah, especially with my friends. Like, when they come over, they always eat the food. Like, there's no food left. They just love it. I didn't think he would ever like that, but he likes it, which is good, and I think they're going to, you know, adapt to it. Eventually, they all will. Because <laughs> it's the best food in the universe. Oh, my God. <laughs> Except it's time, right? Yeah. <laughs>